A. Philip Randolph Career and Technical High School is educating and training students for promising careers in welding, firefighting, construction, vending technology, dentistry, nursing, culinary arts, auto body, and auto mechanics. The graduates are fueling Philadelphia's workforce. Many are leaving the classroom and stepping into jobs at the age of 17. And it's all thanks to the dedicated, passionate, and committed teachers, staff, and administrators at A. Philip Randolph. Now, there are several other career and technical educational schools in the city, but this is the best. And I don't say that biasly, I'm just telling the truth. 55 to 60 percent of my students go out into the workforce, and then we still have an educational college component. Of Overall, Principal Overton says that 99 percent of his students are graduating. It's a great opportunity for our students to leave here, either go into a career or go into college. We have an outstanding dual enrollment program with Philadelphia University where our students go to college for free. Not only that, but they can earn up to 12 college credits at Philadelphia University, or they can take advantage of other partnerships Randolph has to offer. We have another dual enrollment program with Esperanza College, and we're starting to um, open up dialogue with um, CCP. Add to that connections with companies and corporations that can pick from the cream of the crop at A. Philip Randolph. Students are placed in jobs all over the city. But there are two areas with the biggest demand for talent. Our welding students are uh, always, and I've been a student, always courted starting in 11th grade. Demand for welding is very high. Joe Williams is the welding instructor at A. Philip Randolph. We have companies calling my school, calling my students, more than I have students. I have several several companies from, from PTR Baylor to the Philippine Shipyard to L3 Communications to SEPTA all wanting to get my seniors to come work for them, to be employed by them. So it's like I have more job opportunities than I have students. He teaches welding engineering, the basic foundations of the welding industry. His students learn how to manipulate metal and steel, wearing protective helmets, fire-resistant jackets and gloves, and steel toe boots. This is called a what? ID. This right here is a what? Side. These lines represent what on the blueprint world? Whoa. This tells you to do what? Whoa. This is the what? Yeah. This is a foundation in blueprint reading. The foundation of all the blueprint symbols rest, what they, what they rest upon. And William says his students must learn how to read blueprints. Clothing is something that is a career. You have it for the rest of your life. You'll be able to implement these skills you learn here at Randolph and take them right into the workplace. I try to teach my students that they, their goal, their objective is to be engineers. We need more engineers in the world. And knowing how to weld and read blueprints kind of sets you off for being an engineer. Think about Randolph, this four year program, these 1,120 hours that they get here is free. It's in the Philippine public school system. So Randolph, A. Philip Randolph Square and Technical High School is a public school. So you can come here and learn all these trades for free and leave here without owing the college or the government $90,000 and have a high debt. So upon leaving here with certifications in the job, you're leaving here with no debt. A. Philip Randolph has special meaning for Williams because he's a graduate. I, I myself ran around the same building, the same desk, the same machine, the same blackboard. So it was kind of uh, eye-opening when I had the opportunity to come back and teach in the same classroom where I graduated from and give back to these young men. I've turned some kids' lives around. And I, I say that if you can show a kid how to make, you know, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars a week, that's one less kid I gotta worry about being on the street. Every kid that goes to work straight from high school is one less kid that is out there doing something he has no business doing out there in the street. I'd like to pursue my career as a SEPTA welder when I graduate. The atmosphere in the school is very good. Everybody helps everybody. The teachers give you extra help inside and out of school. So you can make your way through the through grades. Students get hands-on training in the culinary arts and how to be chefs and short order cooks. Here, come and take a look inside. And these students are learning how to be dentists. So this is exactly what would be occurring in the 
dental office with the dentist if the dentist were preparing the tooth for restoration. The Fire Academy at Randolph works directly with the Philadelphia Fire Department. There is a fire truck and ambulance inside the school to give students real life training as emergency medical technicians and firefighters. When students come out of high school, they're able to uh, apply to private ambulance company or they have the opportunity when the fire department gives a test, they have uh, an opportunity to apply to the fire department. On this day, the students perform a drill showing us what they do if a call came into the station for a house fire. So you will have on the engine, you will have four members, including the officer. They, each uh, member will have their gear set on each side uh, where they position to get into the uh, engine and respond to a call. So they will have to get fully clothed and then they'll respond. They arrive on the scene and it's a fire. It's a, a working fire. Fire coming up out of the building windows. So then they'll jump off. Now the driver is going to be the pump operator. He's going to be the, the one to get the water to the guys. The other one, the officer and the other two uh, members are, one is going to be on the tip and the other one is going to be a search and rescue. And what you did see, mocking was that it was a patient trapped inside, unconscious. So they uh, assessed the patient, put the patient on oxygen or whatever needed to be done, and then they brought the patient out. Then the EMTs were sitting and arriving. They had packaged the patient up and they get in the back and then reassess and continue assessing the patient, treatment or whatever needs to be done until they take the patient back to the hospital. This program is awesome, awesome. It gives them real life uh, meaning. I mean, you get to assist and help patients, people, in your community, rather it be family members or just be a total stranger, to, to have the knowledge to be able to, to help someone. I mean, I'm studying to get my EMT-1 certification and my Fire-1 certification, and I'm going to become a paramedic. I like it a lot, and the shop just makes me want to come more and more every day and brings me back to class a lot, and it makes me, uh, it made me look forward to what we we're going to learn for the, for the next day. Davis Haynes is teaching his students in vending technology about cell phone repair and cell phone technology, plus robotics, electronics, and computer repair. The vending machines now are actually Windows computer based vending machines. So they have a Windows computer, much like your laptop or your computer at home, or some of them run on a program, an uh, Android program, much like your, your tablet or even your cell phone does. And the machines run basically on an app, so the app controls everything about the machine. And Haynes says the jobs of the future in the vending machine industry are increasing every day. If you were to go to your shop right, you'd notice that there's a, a self-checkout there. All the technology in that, that, that shop right, the, the, the self-checkout is this vending technology. So you can ring things up, uh, you can go downtown, use the uh, parking um, kiosk when you run your credit card through, vending technology, it has to authenticate somewhere. So I'm teaching my students the next generation of cashless payments with uh, their phones. So tablet-based things, touch screens, a lot of visual stuff. Um, a lot of them have uh, uh, cameras inside the vending machines that actually, when they walk up there, it takes a, a buyer of, a, of your face, of you, and knows all about you and knows what you bought. And they can cross-reference all that information and, and know the people's ages and their ethnicity and all that when they're buying stuff. And it helps you as a vendor to know what to put in your machines and what to keep in stock. So the possibilities are really endless for these students. I plan on taking what I learned from my teacher by operating the machines to start my own business to operate machines when I get older. And that's what the teachers, staff, and administrators are doing at A. Philip Randolph. They're inspiring students to be the leaders and businessmen and women of tomorrow.